What's up guys, I'm the Strad Man. So I was driving around trying to find a cool location to film my next video and I bumped into this McLaren 675 LT. There, I think there's only two of these in the whole state of Utah, so it's pretty awesome. Of course, I had to park my car next to it, grab a couple shots. This thing is super, super rare. 675 horsepower, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, top speed of 205 miles per hour. The LT, of course, refers to long tail. The 675LT is a track-inspired version of the 650S. I believe this is chicane gray with the orange brake calipers. So, so cool. I, this is the first 675LT that I've seen outside of the state of California, so it's pretty cool to see it here in Utah. That 675LT was so cool earlier today. I mean, you just do not see cars like that here in Utah. I, I think it's one of two here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I found an awesome spot to film. I'm at the base of Mount Timpanogos in Sundance, Utah. Like, what a beautiful evening, seriously beautiful. So I've received the same question pretty often. Am I modifying this car? Am I keeping it stock? So I've decided that I'm gonna spend $10,000 um, to make some modifications to this car. Now, usually $10,000 would go pretty far. Um, on a Lamborghini, it's like chump change, which is, it's just insane what it costs to modify this car. So, yeah, I'm gonna talk about sort of some performance modifications, you know, twin turbo kit, not to spoil it, but I can't afford one. Um, twin turbo kit, I'm gonna talk about aftermarket exhausts, I'm gonna talk about some aerodynamic upgrades I can make, you know, some other visual uh, changes. So, powder coating the wheels black. That's gonna run about 1,500 bucks or so. You know, the Callisto wheels, they're two-piece wheels, so it runs a little bit more than your average, average wheel. Carbon fiber super leger rear wing. Now, I don't know what it is about the Gallardo. It just really, really looks good with that rear wing. That runs 3,500 bucks uninstalled, um, but it just enhances the back end. It makes it look that much more aggressive. Really, really nice upgrade. I'm considering that one. That's, that's in, the, in the short list for sure. Carbon fiber mirrors, 2,000 um, bucks. Carbon fiber super legera side skirt, that's gonna be $3,000. Now, I don't wanna turn the car into a super legera. I'm not gonna get the super legera stripe. Um, but the Super Legera carbon fiber bits are pretty awesome and they just, I mean, they really enhance the look of the car. Another very popular upgrade is the LP560 bumper. Um, you know, kind of like the rear wing, it really, really updates the front of the car, makes it look that much more modern. The problem is that it's $4,000 and that comes uninstalled and not painted. So, I mean, once it's all said and done, once it's painted, installed, five to six grand, I think is pretty fair. Now, I might be able to sell the current bumper, maybe get a couple thousand dollars back, you know, but that would be to be determined. Um, so I've already kind of talked about vehicle wraps. That runs about five to $8,000, depending on the type of material I want to use. If I want to, um, get paint protection film over the entire car, you know, expel, that's gonna be $6,000. I told you it wasn't cheap, guys. It's crazy. Um, body kits. Now, I'm not gonna get a body kit, but I still do wanna mention it. You know, Haman has a body kit. Um, you know, of course, Liberty Walk. Liberty Walk, they seem to be the, the king of body kits, I guess, right now with their, with their wide body kit. So, <laughs> Liberty Walk wide body kit, First gen Lamborghini Gallardo is $25,000. Now, if I also wanted to get the AirX air suspension that most of them have, that's an additional $8,000. Um, 
It's just, yeah, it's crazy. Now, RSC Tuning, they have a pretty cool um, interior package for the Gallardo. It's basically 15 pieces finished in carbon fiber. It runs for $6,000. It includes the door handles, um, the center console piece, um, you know, a couple other pieces here and there. It's a really, really cool upgrade. It really updates the look in the interior. Um, there's also an upgraded carbon fiber steering wheel that runs for $2,000. It looks fantastic. It really, really makes the interior look that much better. So an exhaust system, you know, that's, that's one of the things I'm seriously considering the most. There's a lot of different exhaust setups I could do for this car. Um, I've looked up a couple of sort of the big names in Gallardo exhaust. So first off, you know, Army Tricks, obviously Paul from Supercars of London, his Gallardo LP uh, 560 has the Army Tricks setup. Now, as far as I know, Army Tricks does not actually make an exhaust for the first gen Gallardo. They only started on the LP Gallardos. Um, so for the first gen, we have Fab Speed, we have the Lock uh, Revision 5 exhaust, and then an exhaust system from RSC Tuning. So they're all gonna be a I'm looking at about three to five thousand dollars for an exhaust setup. Um, the Fab Speed it looks like is three thousand. Um, the Lock Re Revision Five exhaust that's about three thousand as well. RSC Tuning's four thousand. Um, you know the car I'm car I'm on right now it's completely a stock exhaust. It sounds good. The nice thing I like about this exhaust system right now it's not necessarily like a loud drone. You know, I've done a couple long road trips so far, hoping to do more here in the future. The exhaust setup that I have right now is perfect for those long road trip situations. You know, when I'm just cruising around town, it is pretty quiet. You know, at startup, it's really quiet. It would be cool if the exhaust had some more drama, but if I'm planning to do long road trips, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's something that I need to consider for sure. Now, if I had unlimited resources, unfortunately I do not, I would twin turbo this car. I mean, a twin turbo Gallardo is mental. We're talking Veyron type power. I mean, Basically, nothing could keep up on the road. Um, now, a twin turbo kit is basically out of the realm of possibility for me. Um, it would be awesome to do an eight second quarter mile or, you know, 200 plus and a half mile. But they're insanely, insanely expensive. I mean, $10,000 would be, an, be a drop in the bucket for a twin turbo kit. Um, you know, sort of the, the two big kits is the one from Hefner and from Underground Racing. Now I'm gonna use Underground Racing as kind of uh, my example in this video. They have five different stages. Now stage one, that 700 wheel horsepower uh, using pump gas, it's $35,000 installed though. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. Um, stage two, 850 wheel horsepower, um, $65,000 installed. Stage three is a thousand wheel horsepower. Um, we're starting to get up to those uh, Bugatti Veyron type numbers. That's $89,000 installed. Um, I mean, I could buy a second Gallardo, a pretty nice one too for $89,000. Um, then their first race version, that has a thousand and fifty wheel horsepower. Um, $109,000 $109, for that setup. And then their race version stage two, um, that has 1,750 horsepower at the wheels um, using race fuel. They don't even list the pricing. They just say call for pricing. We're probably talking, I would imagine that's 150 to $200,000. So, I mean, for, you know, for 250 to $300,000, you're getting a car with Veyron type power. Um, it, it's not going to have Veyron type usability. I mean, these cars, these twin turbo Gallardos with, you know, 1,700 horsepower, you can't really use that on the street. Um, yeah, it's just it's just absurd. Now, one thing I forgot to note is my Gallardo has the six-speed transmission. Um, if it had the e-gear, you know, the automatic, the semi-automatic with the paddle shifters, that would require some additional upgrades for some additional cost as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I would I would love 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 to get this car twin turbocharged. 
I mean, when you when you think about it, when you think about what a Gallardo cost, and then you add a twin turbo cost twin turbo kit on top of that, it seems overpriced. But when you look at what you're getting for the money from a performance standpoint compared to the competitors, I mean, a, a twin turbo Gallardo can basically run with any car in the world um, in a straight line. That I should note that in a straight line, in a straight line, that is that has to be noted. Um, you know, in the corners, different ball game. So as you can see, you could easily spend three times the purchase price of the car modifying a Lamborghini. It's absurd, it really is. So that being said, I have $10,000 to spend to modify this car. I don't know if it's gonna be in the next month or the next six months. Um, I just, that's the number I'm looking at. So I'd love to hear in the comments below, should I do like, you know, the carbon fiber rear wing, wheels powder coated black, should I wrap the car, um, you know, exhaust system. You know, I only, I only have $10,000 though, so I can't necessarily do everything I'd like to. Um, so yeah, leave your suggestions in the comments below. I do read the comments, try to reply as much as possible. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll talk with you hopefully here soon. Bye. All right, so my first hate, I guess that's what we're going with, is of course, the Gallardo has the wrong doors. Now when I was dreaming of owning a Lamborghini as a little kid,